guess what? I'm back with another foundation review. What's up everybody and welcome back to my channel. In today's video we are going to be doing a foundation review on another a brand new launch at the drugstore. This one in particular is from Rimmel. I feel like Rimmel has been killing it with the launches lately. They've been bringing out tons of new product and they're keeping it very, very affordable, unlike some other brands. Revlon. I went grocery shopping the other day, and of course I can't go grocery shopping without walking down the makeup aisle, so when I did, I discovered this brand new foundation right here from Rimmel. I've never seen it before. Maybe some of you have already seen it because it's already launched, but this is brand new to me. This is the Lasting Finish 24 Hour Wear Breathable Foundation. It's medium coverage. I picked up mine in the shade 100 ivory and I'm not gonna lie I struggled to figure out what my foundation shade is because they all look the same there was no variation between the shades and when I counted there are 17 different shades on Rimmel's website so not great um, and you can see that they all look almost identical to each other so it's really hard to shade match with this I think they need to expand that range but that's just me the foundation cost me ten dollars so great price and that's what made me buy the concealer that came with it it's also part of the same line it's the lasting finished breathable lightweight medium coverage concealer um, it's very similar to the Milani concealer and that it comes with a sponge tip applicator at the top I really don't like these sponge tip applicators but whatever we're gonna make that work I figure why not do almost a full face of Rimmel today, um, at least for the base, because I also saw that they came out with loose powder. Now, I don't know if this is super brand new. I've never seen loose powder from Rimmel before, so when I saw this, I'm like, hmm, stay matte? Yes, please. Before I continue on into the foundation review, make sure you take a quick second to subscribe if you aren't already. Very much appreciated. As you know, all of my foundation reviews are done the same way. I try not to change any of the variables for the base so that everything remains consistent and I can benchmark appropriately <laughs> against different foundations. So I do have my Amore Pacific Moisturizer on right now as well as my Hyalamide Matte 12 Primer. You know that's a staple for me. Let me zoom you in and we're going to start the application process. Welcome to my face. <laughs> I'm going to take off my glasses here and there is a safety seal that I just cracked open. Oh, 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 ah, crap. I already got on my pants. <laughs> it's a wand applicator, which I definitely wasn't expecting. I thought that was going to be a, uh, a pump. All right. Well, not going to lie. I'm a little disappointed, but whatever. Again, we're going to make it work. So <laughs> I'm just going to go in on this side of my face first. Ooh, it's a very soft applicator. So squishy. Foundation smells a little bit like citrus, very pleasant. And they're, funny enough, like there's a lot of product that comes off of this wand, so maybe I don't hate it so much, but you guys know how I feel about keeping my stuff sanitary. Um, I hope this is gonna be a good shade match. I really wasn't sure, like I said, when I was at the grocery store, everything just looked identical and I was torn between this one and another shade, but I figure I'm going to roll with this one here. I don't want to buy two because I can't return them. And even if it's a little bit darker, I can make it work. All right, so there it is on half of my face. As you can see, it blended out really nicely. It doesn't feel like I have anything on my face, which is another really nice thing, but it hasn't covered anything. Down here, it seems to have smoothed out some of my pigmentation, but where I am most red right here, it has done absolutely nothing. I feel like there's tons of red still peeking through. So what I'm gonna try to do is build it up a little bit. And I'm dabbing really, really lightly on my face because I don't want the Beauty Blender to absorb too much of the product. Even after trying to build up this foundation, I'm noticing a lot of redness still peeking through. So this doesn't quite cover what I needed to cover, but I've already committed to working with this foundation and testing it out. So I'm going to have at it and I'm going to hope that the concealer is going to 
help mask some more of this redness. And if it doesn't, uh, I'm gonna go in with some of my Tarte Shape Tape to help this foundation out. I'm gonna try building up this foundation on this side just a little bit more, but rather than using my Beauty Blender to build it up on this side, I'm actually gonna use a brush just to see if I am gonna get a little more coverage. I'm gonna use my Sigma Flat Top Kabuki Brush. This is the F80 to build up just a little bit and see if it makes a difference. And I'm not really blending out the product, like buffing it out. I'm trying to stipple it into my skin. And there it is all blended out with a brush trying to build it up. And I do think that it covered up a lot more by using a brush than it did with the Beauty Blender. This is probably soaking up too much of the product, which is why I wasn't able to get super full coverage on this side, or at least enough to mask my redness. So I am going to take just a little more foundation and use my brush to at least minimize this redness. The great thing about this foundation is that it is not clinging to any of my dry patches. It is wonderful. It also feels nice and lightweight and it's giving me a combination of a matte to natural finish. I'm gonna go in with the concealer next. I'm gonna squeeze some out. So I pick this up in the shade 001 Light. And let's see if this concealer is gonna do anything. The concealer is just a little bit trickier to blend out. It's not as smooth as the foundation. The concealer is certainly a lot drier than the foundation. I found it a little more difficult to blend out. Um, I think it also shifted a lot of the foundation, so I feel like I've lost some coverage because I am seeing redness peek through even though it did brighten up my under eye area. I'm now gonna go in with the Loose Setting Powder. This is the Stay Matte Mattifying Loose Powder from Rimmel. <laughs> the powder does feel really, really smooth on my skin. I'm gonna use some of my MAC Studio Fix Powder to just powder everything down a little bit more and add some additional coverage. I have now powdered everything down. My face is set and ready to go. I actually really like the way my skin is looking right now. I think the foundation is all right so far. Don't like the concealer, but the powder is really nice. Um, it does add a really nice brightening effect. I am probably gonna have to go in and significantly bronze because I feel like I look very stark white right now. Um, um, and probably do a little more contouring just to add some dimension back into my face. I'm gonna go ahead and finish off the rest of my face and I will be right back. All right, the rest of my face is now on. Everything is looking really good. The only area of my face that I really dislike, and I think it's because of the concealer, um, is just underneath my eye area. It looks like it's just accentuating dry patches and texture. It's getting a little creasy underneath my eyes. That's not unusual though, so it's not a pain point for me, but it's just not sitting as well underneath my eye as the rest of my face is. So right now I'm actually really enjoying the foundation, um, but the concealer, I'm gonna go about the rest of my day now and take you along for the ride. Again, I don't have anything terribly exciting happening. I'm editing, I'm filming, and I've gotta take down the Christmas tree. That's the thing I gotta do. I will see you guys in just a little bit. This is the first check-in of the day. I just finished filming three videos and I'm pooped, I'm so tired of talking, but I am going to do this check-in so you guys can see how this foundation is wearing. And honestly, it's looking really, really good. Oh my goodness. I, focus. I love how it's sitting all over my skin. It's looking really good on my forehead, great on my cheeks. Um, it's sitting really well on my nose, surprisingly, and it's looking pretty good around my mouth area as well. The only areas that I don't like are right around my like main cheek area, just underneath my eyes, but I think that's because focus but I think that's because of the concealer and I've said this before it's a horrible concealer that kind of 
clings to everything difficult to blend out and it just shifted around too much product so I really didn't like it and I think that screwed up my under eye but whatever the case is this foundation is wearing beautifully oh and I've had this foundation on for about four and a half hours now this is the final check-in of the day I really want to jump in the shower and just get ready for bed I've had the foundation on for almost nine hours now so I've gotten some good wear out of it let me zoom you in so you guys can see what's happening so it has been sitting really well it did start to transfer a little bit towards the end of the day but I was also touching my face quite a bit um, so pardon all of that you can see a lot of shifting happening around the glasses pads area right here um, you can also see it on the other side once the camera decides to focus. Um, the foundation is starting to rub off along my nose. I did have to blow my nose a few times, so maybe that's one of the reasons why. It's sitting really well on my forehead. Um, I mean, overall, it's looking really good. It's not looking super, super patchy because it's underperforming. Um, it's not sitting on my skin or grabbing onto dry patches. Like I said in the previous check-in, it's just underneath my eye area where it was looking a little bit funky. Honestly, I think we might have a winner here with a new Rimmel foundation. It's definitely not full coverage, so don't get it twisted, but it is one that I think if you're looking for or more of a natural day you just kind of want to even out your complexion just make sure you use a different concealer don't use the accompanying Rimmel concealer it's awful um, I think you will really really like this foundation so it's getting a thumbs up from me finally the tides are turning and we're getting positive reviews on foundations I was really starting to worry there for a while not gonna lie I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please make sure to give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel so you don't miss any of my upcoming videos. You can also connect with me on all of my social media. I'm going to link it all in the description box below for you. I am on the hunt for the Revlon Color Stay Foundation because that is the next one I want to try out, or at least in the very near future. But if there are any other foundations that you want me to give a whirl, make sure you leave them in the comment section below and I will see what I can do for you. I hope Hope you are all having an amazing day, night, afternoon, wherever you are in the world. Stay beautiful and I'll see you guys soon. Bye.